All right, so uh, it needs to scan the QR code on the side here, which is right there. I swear, security camera videos are probably my favorite videos to create. And today I have a product from an entirely new company that I haven't worked with before, but they seem to be making some really nice security cameras. This is the Vimtag Cam G3. This is an indoor and outdoor home security camera that looks very tiny, but has day and night features, everything that you would want from a security camera, whether it's inside or outside of your house. So of course, we'll go through the unboxing of this product, and then I'll download the app. I'll show you everything inside of the app, how you add the product to your app and get it on your Wi-Fi. Basically everything you would need to know to set up a Vimtag Cam G3. So click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out the Vimtag Cam G3. So today we have the Vimtag Cam G3. Protect what matters day and night. This is an indoor and outdoor 1080p AI camera. Nothing on the bottom, just a picture of the camera and the app store and Google store on the bottom. Download and install the Vimtag app. Top just says Vimtag, side infrared night vision, color night vision, and this side functional statement. So day and night HD video, see what happens, see what's happening live in HD video anytime, day or night. Built-in spotlight, powerful spotlight that illuminates the surrounding area when relevant motion is detected. View recordings and live stream in crisp color detail even in low light settings. Two-way audio, hear and speak to family members or visitors through your Vimtag app. Motion and human detection, get alerts right on your smartphone whenever motion or human is detected. Ready for any weather, with an IP65 weatherproof rating, the standard operating temperature should be from negative four degrees all the way to 131 degrees. And it says it works with Alexa. View live streams the camera through select Alexa enabled devices. So let's get this little camera opened up. It looks very nice. I love the design of it. Look at that. M Tag Cam G3. So a little quick start guide here on the top. And then I think this is the camera. Yeah. So it's got a attached micro USB cable and a nice little stand here. And there's your reset button and even a micro SD card slot. Very cool. So looks like you could mount this a couple different ways, probably upside down, invert the picture. Got a little Vimtag logo there. So very nice looking so far, like what I'm seeing. And that's it for that box. Now in here is Looks like some double-sided tape for something. That's always helpful. Screws for mounting, an included USB power brick. And last but not least, included micro USB cable to plug into here to power the device. And this does uh, seem like double-sided tape, uh, so you can tape it to something instead of screwing it. So we're gonna get this all plugged up. We'll see how long this cable is, and then we'll download the Vimtag app and go through the setup process. Take off that little sticker. Just, I like the little design here. Very nice little design. So let's run our included micro USB cable to power it on, which this looks to be, this goes just over my head. So I would say about six feet with this little bit here, definitely closer to seven foot of cable. So take our power brick and plug it in and then we'll plug this into power. And then we'll bring the other half up to this nice little waterproof cable and plug it in right here. So now this camera should have power since it's plugged in to the wall now. All right, then we'll look in the, in the instructions real quick to grab our Vimtag app, which is right here. So there we go, there's the Vimtag app in the Google Play Store. We will install the app and then once the app is installed, make us an account real quick and then go through the setup process. All right, open. It should be the first thing it wants. New obtain. yeah, sure, yeah, sure. All right, here we go, sign up. And, oh, it does a little drip noises, all right. So, I'm gonna sign up now. Waiting for receiving the wireless config information. All right, so I'm gonna enter in this information, make my account, and then we'll set up the actual camera. 
There we go. So now I've signed in to my account. And if I click this little plus button up in the left, I get an option of cameras. Now this is the Vimtag Cam G3, which is indoor and outdoor. I'm, I guess it's this one that's called Outdoor Mini Cam. Yeah, that looks to be right. All right, so uh, it needs to scan the QR code on the side here, which is right there. So there we go. And now we'll enter in our Wi-Fi information. So we'll enter in our password now. Wi-Fi password. Once you enter in your Wi-Fi password and click next, you get the device is starting. Please wait patiently. And just so you know, if you have an issue with this power cable, similar to I did, I couldn't tell if it was fully plugged in or not, this slides right off. So you can slide it off, get your cable plugged in, and then slide it back over to protect it. All right, so now it's got a QR code that I'll place in front of the camera to connect it to the router. To the router. Wait for a moment. I already heard connecting to router. That's because I scanned the code. There we go. Very nice and easy. All right. So we'll just call this uh, camera one. And there we go. There's our camera. Wow, look at that picture. Very nice. Look at those colors. All right, all right. Security settings. Please set up your password for this device before use. So there is a uh, admin password here on the side. This is the original default password. It's wanting me to enter in a new one, which is good. So I'll enter in my own password here. Any password you want. All right, got our password in and we're still gonna call it camera one. Now there is uh, some cloud storage. All right, so if we go here, it gives us a little tutorial, nice. Now there is cloud storage. I'm not entirely certain of the uh, specs of that, but there's also SD card support. Let's pop in an SD card, Let's see if it shows up instantly or what. It goes right here on the bottom and I have me a little micro SD card always ready because this is what I do. Ooh, look at that, and it's actually easily accessible. So to take it out, I'm able to just easily press it and put it back in. Very nice, love, love, love that. So it is still, say, let me go out and back in SD card. Oh, it's working, so I didn't have to reboot it or anything like that. So that part's pretty nice. Looks like this will record us a clip. Okay, I don't care about my time zone. All right, so this little button here will record us a video. Let me actually, uh, so this is a audio video test on the Vimtag Cam G3. All right, so it saved that picture for me. Okay, this button should take a picture for us. Yep, it just took that photo. If I click this button, it'll unmute it, and you'll be able to hear me if I turn up my phone's volume. My phone's volume. Turn that back down. This button here would allow us to talk, so long press to talk, so. Hey, how you doing? See? Echoey though, because I'm in the same room. And this is like an alarm. This will trigger the device to issue an alarm. Okay. All right. This button here, you can go from HD to standard smooth to auto. This is the widescreen button, which puts it on widescreen for you. What are these little buttons? Oh, wow, you can fully adjust the contrast, brightness, sharpness, all of that, okay. And then there's also three dots up here. We got some settings. Look at this app, very nice app. SD card, wow, device upgrade. There's a spotlight even, what? Auto spotlight, when motion or humid is detected in night vision mode, the spotlight will turn on. Okay, I didn't realize the spotlight. I think I remember seeing it in the instructions, but. So um, record settings, so continuous recording is on. That's very nice. That probably only works, yeah, video will be recorded to SD card continuously after option is enabled. So you can do continuous recording. Very, very cool. I love a camera that's always recording, so that way I never miss anything. Here's your notification settings, human detection, sound detection, and motion detection. I don't want any notifications currently though. Wi-Fi check, flip screen, motion detection, and it does work with Amazon Alexa, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. But that is essentially this camera's setup. Now, I do want to show you real quick right here. Right here, I do want to show you the camera at nighttime with and without the spotlight. So this is a nighttime audio video clip on the Vimtag camera with the spotlight. And this is a nighttime audio video test on the Vimtag camera without the spotlight. And 
truly, I think that's about it. And that should essentially do it for the Vim Tag Cam G3. Now, truly, I think this is a pretty good indoor and outdoor camera. With it being waterproof and also having the SD card that allows you to continuously record, which is very, very important. And there's no kind of fee to use the SD card, which some companies are going to that. They have the SD card option, but they're forcing you to pay for that. There's no fee here, so you could put this camera up either inside or outside and would be able to run it back and view your activity from any point in the day as long as, you know, your SD card is big enough. Now I showed you some daytime clips, I showed you some nighttime clips with and without the spotlight, which I think the spotlight's a very, very cool feature, especially if you're going to use one of these like at your back porch or something like that. I think a spotlight is something nice to have. The app was also very, very easy to set up. One side note, if you have any issues setting up the device in your app, go into your device settings and turn off your mobile data and then kill your Vimtag app, relaunch your Vimtag app, restart your camera and try to add it again. I've seen many times with many smart home products when having your mobile data turned off, it's able to connect compared to when it's turned on, it'll fail. I don't know why, but I didn't have that experience with this because mine was already off. So I'll of course have the Vimtag Cam G3 linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab one of these for yourself. And I think that will do it for today's video. Click that like button for me if you can, click subscribe, and make sure you indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next video. Deuces.